I almost remember nothing. I know I had a hockey game that evening, so I had like my tracksuit on. Alicia lost control of her vehicle, causing her to spin out and face the other way. And then I got out to check if it was still drivable. At that point, it was just a fender bender, really. And she must have been just just about getting back in, but another vehicle must have lost control on a similar path. I ended up getting squished between their car and my car. The eMERGE doc says, we think she'll live. So already that's kind of given me a, an idea of the magnitude uh, of the accident. She lost a ton of fluid, so they had to do a massive fluid resuscitation so that her heart and everything will function. In the ICU, I said to Alicia at her bedside, I said, if you need to go, you leave. And that's up to you. And I said, but if you're gonna stay, we're gonna get through this. You know, at that time, a lot's going on in your mind, you know, to the point where you're, you're still in so much shock that I really couldn't even cry. You know, I had my teammates there and they were kind of the most comfort. That's just the real power of the team bond that really resonates with me after the accident. When the Humboldt Bronco accident happened, I just reflected back on my own personal experience and kind of thought, you know, imagine if no difference came from this, uh, much like my own experience. Rolling? <laughs> we thought that connecting with Canadian Blood Services would be a great way for the hockey community to come together because we found that through blood donation, it's a non-monetary way of giving back. So that was our, our first step to uh, trying to get hockey players blood to make a difference. Stu's probably the most driven you know, human I've ever met. He's obviously a close friend and a guy that, uh, you know, we share a very special bond with after playing hockey together. And if you ever had a guy that you played with who you know, suffered in, a, in any way, I think you, you knew you could always reach out and, and support them. And for me, it's like, we want to try and share that mentality with the rest of Canada and with people who aren't necessarily a part of the culture. We just jumped at the chance to help him out and help raise awareness for something that's very important. We'd seen Matt quite a few times over that year. He'd been helping out quite a bit. And immediately, you know, we, our minds kind of went to what could we do to help. But they immediately went and gave blood, specifically with the goal of supporting Alicia. It's my job to take care of those boys or to contribute to their health in some way. So for them to step up and kind of return the favor and do it the same way, it was, um, it was huge for me. I think it's a reminder that you never know who it's going to be and uh, some stranger that donated helped save someone that you know or love and you kind of want to repay that favor. I'm glad it kind of sparked a, a relationship with our team and Hockey Gives Blood and, and Canadian Blood Services. The hockey community just rallied around me because that's what they do. They're just a hockey family, not just my own team but other teams were so supportive. I've always loved swimming. I've always loved the water. After the accident, I remember the first time I got in the water and it just didn't matter that I didn't have a leg. And that was cool. To see that drive and to see that fire, that she is gonna go do something and She's given it her all. Seeing that after what she's been through is, is gonna be amazing. So you have 53 seconds. Seven seconds under your goal. So I'll take it, good job. Looking at it competitively has kind of given me an extra thing to work for and work harder for. It just feels good and kind of feels more like me. There's no chance that she would be alive today doing the things she's doing if there was no blood.
Team Heroes, presented by Sobeys, Canada's family grocery store.